Hey, good morning, <clears throat> CC3 or Math 8 students. Uh, today, your Khan Academy is interpreting slope and y-intercepts for linear models. Um, the number one thing you got to do is you have to read this portion of it right there. The fitted line has a y-intercept of 87, so we need to interpret what that y-intercept is standing for. What is the best interpretation for that right there? So the y-intercept is 87, what's the best interpretation? And then they give you a graph. So here's our graph, okay? 87 is our y-intercept right here, okay? So this is where the y-intercept is at 87. That represents the score. So a student, students would score an average score right here of 87. Uh, so an average score of 87 when they spent, how much time was that right here at the very, very beginning, the y-intercept? The y-intercept re represents zero, right. So when there is zero minutes remaining in their test. So if someone took an exam, um, and let's say it was like an AC, ACT test, and they're given so much time. Well, students that used up the entire time on that and had no minutes re remaining would have scored an average score of 87. So we got to find out which one represents that. The average score on the exam was approximately 87. Well, no, that's only the average score of those who had zero minutes remaining. So that is no. Uh, second one, an average uh, on average, spending an extra minute on the exam corresponded with an 87 point increase. No, that's talking about slopes right there. Um, and that's not what this is all about. The model indicates that a student who spent five minutes taking the exam would have an average score of approximately 87. Uh, that has nothing to do with the problem. The model indicates that a student who turned in the exam exactly at the end of the period, so no time remaining, would have an average score of 87. That is correct. So if someone had zero minutes remaining on their test score, their average score was going to be an 87. So that one is right there so it's just interpreting what this is saying <clears throat> sometimes they're going to give it to you where you have to interpret the y-intercept and sometimes they're going to give it to you like this one where you have to interpret the slope of it remember the slope is how much something is increasing or decreasing by so <clears throat> we need to have the best interpretation for the slope well here's what we got um we've got is about coaches right here and what's the winning percentage of coaches versus how much money they make, okay? So you can see that coaches, if they had something where coaches got paid no money whatsoever, uh, the average coach would win about 40%, but that's not what it's talking about. That's the y-intercept. They're saying the slope is, uh, the winning percentage goes up by a slope of 8.43. So that means Every time you go from like here over to $1 million, you'll notice we went from a 40% winning percentage to like a 48%. So it went up that 8.42. From here, if we go over one more, pay them another million, we go up another 8.42. So now we're talking about what, 56, 56% uh, winning rate right there. If we go over another million, pay another million, uh, we're now getting into about 65, and if we pay another million, uh, we get up here into the 70%, and look at this guy. This guy makes a ton of money, uh, makes about $4 million a year, and he wins all the time. So, obviously, there's always outliers in there, but in general, the slope refers to every time you pay someone another million dollars, they're going to win about 8% more games for you, Okay. So let's look at which one of these represents that. A school whose head coach has a salary of zero would have a winning percentage of 8.42. Well, first of all, that's not true. If you paid them zero, we already determined you would have a winning percentage of 40, but that's the y-intercept that we don't care about that. We care about, again, your slope. So B, a school whose head coach had a salary of zero. Again, that would be the y-intercept. We're not concerned about the y-intercept. Even though this statement is true, that they'd have a winning percentage of 40%, that's talking about the y-intercept. Letter C, on average, each million dollar increase in salary is associated with an 8.4% increase in winning percentage. Meaning, 
If you pay a coach a million dollars, they'll go up 8.42. Pay him another million, up 8.42. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for right there. So we'll put that right here. And then just read the last one to verify. On average, each one point increase in winning percentage is associated with an $8 million increase. Well, look at this. They don't even have $8 million on here. $8 million would be out to about here. So they're saying that a 1% increase right about there. So they're saying the graph would have gone kind of like that right there. That's not what happens. So obviously that doesn't work. So we can also prove letter C is correct. So again, today you are interpreting graphs, you're interpreting the y-intercept, you're interpreting the slope. Um, this is something uh, you really need to have down moving into high school, so I really like this con for you guys. Good luck on it. If you need my help, give me a call. Bye-bye.